Hey everyone, welcome back to the Truth of Universe. Today, we're diving into a super exciting topic, American YouTubers who aren't just entertaining us but also have a solid background in science. These creators could seriously change the game when it comes to space travel. So, let's explore how their unique talents and knowledge could help us reach for the stars. Alright, let's talk about the challenges of space travel today. First off, we're dealing with some pretty serious technology limitations. Spacecrafts are still incredibly expensive and complex to build, and we're constantly trying to innovate. Then there's the issue of funding governments and private companies are always in a race to secure the cash needed for these missions. And let's not forget about public interest. While the idea of space travel is super cool, it can be a tough sell when people are more focused on daily life and current events. So, we need fresh ideas and perspectives to overcome these hurdles. That's where our YouTubers come in. Now, let's highlight five amazing American YouTubers who could really make strides in space travel. First up, we have Microgravity! Gravity. Emily Calandrelli, the space gal. With her background in aerospace engineering, she's all about making science accessible and fun. She's already doing amazing work in STEM education, which could translate perfectly into motivating young minds to consider careers in space exploration. But if I had to pick one YouTuber who stands out as a potential leader in space exploration, it would have to be Mark Rober. His deep understanding of engineering, coupled with his incredible ability to inspire and educate, makes him a prime candidate for leading innovative projects in space travel. Plus, he's got that infectious enthusiasm that could draw in millions of supporters and future scientists. Just picture him collaborating with space agencies to design the next generation of spacecraft. If you look right behind me, you'll see the center of the universe. And the reason it's called the center of the universe is because that's NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. And all of the orbiters, probes, and spacecraft we've sent out into the solar system and beyond send all their signals right back here to be processed. And that will never be more apparent than in a few days when the next Mars rover named Perseverance concludes its seven-month journey to our neighboring red planet Mars. Autonomously navigating itself for a terrifying seven minutes, traveling from 15 times the speed of a bullet to a gentle three miles per hour touchdown, all while live streaming the key data the whole way down. And as many of you know, for me, this is like coming home. Because long before I started making YouTube videos, I came here to work every day for nine years, seven of which were working on the last rover we sent to Mars named Curiosity. So today we're gonna talk to some of my old friends and see the actual rover up close as I bring you up to speed on everything you need to know about this rover landing. Because once you have an overview of what's going to happen and what it even took to get us to this point, I feel certain you're going to feel just as pumped about this historic landing as I am. Next, we have Destin Sandlin from Smarter Every Day. Destin's deep dive into physics and engineering concepts, coupled with his hands on experiments, shows his readiness to handle the complexities of space travel. His curiosity and dedication to understanding how things work would serve him well in the extraterrestrial environment. All right, so I am a PhD student at the University of Alabama in Huntsville. There's a lot that goes into that. It's a very difficult thing for me. I'm studying under Dr. Jason Cassabri. Really fun. The other day, someone from the university reaches out and they said, hey, doesn't your student Destin, doesn't he like do talks occasionally or whatever? It was the American Astronautical Society. This is a group that discusses the future of space exploration. Aerospace CEOs, industry leaders, students, government officials, they've been having these discussions since the 1950s. They asked if I would do what 
what I call a talkie talk. Now, usually I say no to talkie talks because I, I like to prepare and get it right and it just takes a long time. Plus, I only do a few of those a year and I just didn't know if this was the right thing to do. But the more I got to thinking about it, the more I realized that the people that were gonna be in this room are the movers and shakers in the aerospace industry. And these are the people that are doing things like planning the mission architecture to go back to the moon. Fourth on our list is Derek Muller from Veritasium. Derek's in-depth analysis of scientific phenomena and his ability to break down complex topics would be crucial in navigating the unknowns of space. His critical thinking and methodical approach make him well-equipped for the challenges of space exploration. A question I get asked surprisingly often is, is Veritasium a real element? Nope. I made it up. When I was a kid, about 10 or 11 years old, I went to this Genghis Khan exhibit at a museum, and I didn't know much about Genghis Khan except he was some famous warrior who lived a long time ago, so I was thinking maybe we'd see his mummified body or his suit of armor or his sword, something like that. But when I got to the museum, all they had were like these tiny fragments of pottery and some old shoes, and I was incredibly disappointed. So in this video, I wanna tell you my story but with real pieces of my life. Hi! Hi! Real photons Hi. that bounced off my face, hit a sensor, created a current that created a magnetic field, flipping some domains on magnetic tape, which was later replayed, recreated in the current, passed into a computer, digitized into zeros and ones, beamed to your device, which recreates the light that's hitting your eyes right now. I'm waiting for you to take a picture. Of what? Of me. Last but not least, we have Fraser Kane from Universe Today. As a dedicated space enthusiast and publisher, Fraser's extensive knowledge of astronomy and space missions would be incredibly valuable. His ability to stay updated with the latest space news and his passion for sharing it with the world demonstrate his readiness for space survival. It's recording. Is there a red light on the front? There's no red light on the front that shows that it's recording. Hmm. Okay. Prepped. Do it again? Sorry. Okay. All right. <sighs> it's a good trap. <laughs> this is the Hubble Ultra Field. Mm. Hubble Ultra Deep Field. Not the Hubble Ultra Field. If you've watched any Ren and Stimpy, you know blah, blah, blah. Once again, it's time for your questions me. For me. Of me? For me? <laughs> At the very edge of our obser observational ability. You want to do it again? Oh, you give me this disapproving look. And so researchers at NASA's JPL can calculated a trajectory that used the Lagrange points to help. <laughs> no, you just look at me so sad. Fine, go back. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. <laughs> okay. To attract flea, elec flea electrons. Fleas. Fleas. Don't most clowns use regular air from That's true, they do. Other balloons to haunt us. So, to wrap it all up, we've explored the strengths of these five incredible YouTubers Mark Rober, Derek Muller, Emily Calandrelli, Physics Girl, and Destin Sandlin. Each one brings unique skills and perspectives that could significantly impact the future of space exploration. With their combined talents, the sky isn't even the limit. Now, I want to hear from you. Who do you think would be the best fit for space travel among these YouTubers? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Truth of Universe for more exciting content. Until next time, keep exploring the universe.